Hello and welcome to the inaugural GT DTM International Championship. It's still DTM Tuesdays because I'm going to be driving in DTMs. It's going to be a six round series and it's multi-class racing. I started thinking about what I really wanted to do and growing up my favorite series to watch were the American Le Mans series and uh, like Rolex uh, Grand Am stuff. And a big part of those series is multi-class racing. So there's no reason for me not to do what I want to do. So it is multi-class with, we've got 10 DTM cars, 10 GT4 cars, and 10 uh, World Touring cars. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, it's a six race series, international series. So I'll walk you through where we're going. Starts in Shanghai, then we move to Suzuka, off to Imola, then to the US at Road America, back to Germany for the Nürburgring, and we're gonna finish it off at Bathurst. I wanted to force myself to actually learn Bathurst. I've driven it several times, but I do not know it. And that's it. So here's the rule sets. We're gonna do adaptive AI. I don't know how that's gonna go. We're hoping it will train itself over time. It may be doing this series, we'll improve it. Uh, we're gonna give ourselves 10 minute practice sessions, eight minute qualifying, and then it's just a 20 minute sprint race. And that is it. Welcome to the first ever GDTM International Championship. I'm hoping this is going to become a regular series on my channel. Um, we'll see how it goes. I like the idea of how it, having mixed classes so that there's more traffic to go through all the time. And I think we should have a nice speed disparity, at least between the um, DTM and the other two classes. I actually don't know the what the differential uh, speed is going to be for between the GT4s and the World Touring Cards, but we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. And presumably the race room AI is better suited to handle this than uh, the Automobilista 2 AI that we had going on before. If you haven't checked out my best bits video from the uh, <laughs> insane multi-class racing between shifter carts, Copa trucks, F1 cars, and supercars, or V8 supercars, you really gotta go check that out. I'll try to link that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get a little bit of practice under our belt. And then I'll see you back for the race. Or I guess I'll see you back for qualifying and then the race. This is a really cool circuit. I'd never experienced this circuit before race room. And that is the most decreasing radius turn ever. But uh, it's a really nice track. And this is a corner that once you exit the first part of it, you really can't just be flat out for what has to be the longest straightaway in race room. I don't know, it's the longest straightaway that I've driven in race room. Oh, break a little before the curbing, apparently. That's why they call this practice. That's what this is for. We're supposed to wreck the other cars just to intimidate them a little bit for the race so they know we mean business. Welcome to qualifying. We're going to see if we can have enough pace to not be dead last. But I'm not super worried about it. I think uh, it's going to be a bit of an experiment to see how the adaptive AI goes. As far as pacing. But again, so we've got three classes, DTM, GT4, and World Touring Cars. And we have 10 cars in each class, 20 minute sprint race. It's a little bit sketchy coming out of that hairpin. I think you can just floor it in first and put it in first, but uh, I think you do have to modulate just a little bit on your way to flooring it so that you keep the car straight. All right, well, here comes our first flying lap for qualifying. And again, this is like the biggest decreasing radius turn ever. And it's almost enough to make me feel sick in VR. Almost. 
getting through here quick is tough. And you really just have to be so patient. And I didn't, I think my line was garbage, but you just have to be so patient coming through this complex. It is a hurry up and wait turn. I turned in way too late there. Really messed up the whole section. We'll come around one more time just for practice, but this is not going to be our fastest lap. But I don't know that we're going to be able to do it. There's going to be too much traffic. Well, we were able to get through there pretty good. Unhindered. Really want a late apex this one way more than I did because this turn is so important. It's so hard to get turned around on. So I don't think we're gonna improve. Not enough to get up into sticks. That's what it looks like. And these guys are probably gonna mess up our our lap anyways, unless we can explode out of here. Well, we actually did manage, I think, to make it all the way around without having any traffic problems. Oh, we picked up a big amount of time. All right, well, let's see what we got. That should be good to move up. Hey, that took us up to fourth. That's pretty good. All right, some last minute heroics. Shocked all of the fans, hey guys. All right, well, we're gonna end qualifying and we'll get to the race. All right, well, we filled the fifth after qualifying completed, but I'm excited. Welcome everyone. Here it is, the inaugural GT DTM International Championship round one at Shanghai. Let's go, let's go multi-class racing. I got a really bad start. We're dropping down the order. AI is about to stack up pretty good. Looks like we already pulled away pretty good from the other classes. into the inside but it's gonna have to grip the speed out of that corner couldn't quite keep up with him just gotta stay with the pack so we can take advantage of our DRS which is active Oh, the AI handled that hairpin pretty well. Oh, I didn't. Hoping that we're close enough. We can hang on to some of this DRS. All right. Hold me up, buddy. It'll be really interesting to see what happens when we start coming through the lap traffic. Gotta try to keep up with this pack. I 
And it's almost DRS time, but I think we need to straighten out a bit. I think we really need the grip. Oh, I got a little, see? I got greedy and I tried to activate DRS early. And that really messed us up. Oh! Darius on again. We gotta keep up with these guys. We've already fallen to last. So, however, the adaptive AI has trained itself. It's not quite competitive yet. Well, this is competitive because I haven't gotten not lost yet, but I'm struggling to keep up. Let's put it that way. We've held on to our DRS for this lap, which is really good. Finally, got through there a little bit better, except for the speed, with all the traffic. I'm gonna keep to the right. We can widen this turn out and then floor it through here. And maybe we're in position to get to the inside. I think we so, we got a little bit of drive. We're able to keep that fairly clean. So we really do have to wait for this turn to open back up before we get on the DRS. Otherwise, you will regret it. We're through the first five minutes of the race. We've managed to get to eighth. I think in the next couple minutes is when we'll start seeing lap traffic. Oh, and there go. <laughs> We've just given those two spots back. Got a pretty good exit out of there. Don't know if we'll be able to do anything up here. We might. I forgot to use DRS. Oh, they didn't though. At least they didn't pull too far away. Whoa. We're gonna try to get cheeky. Oh, okay, well he, that was kind of not fair. Oh, well, oh, come on. I guess that's fair. I guess it is fair. I've rubbed on them a little bit. That blew down. That little wiggle's gonna make him vulnerable, maybe. Nah, no, we're not gonna catch him. Oh, caught him that time. Let's see if the lap traffic's gonna end up helping me or hurting me. Cause I bet we should be coming up on them before too long. I guess you keep an eye on the leaderboard there. We should see them. Ooh, contact between the AI. Hoping that would help us out more than it did. Gotta remember to use DRS on the straightaway. We may have lost these guys. Yeah, I think we're we're gonna have lost DRS for this next lap, I think. We're gonna have to try to be the comeback kids in the championship, I guess. Cinderella story. say that. We've come back up a little bit. Hopefully we've caught up enough to... Do some 
damage here. Oh, he's not going away, is he? Oh, I don't have DRS. I forgot. But we needed it. They seem to get off that hairpin a lot better than I do. Well, we're running our best laps of the race. So we have picked up our pace a little bit, but I just don't think that we have enough pace. Oh, we drifted real wide there. That was a pretty big cut. Nobody seems to have noticed. A little sloppy. We're just hanging on to the back of this pack. But we can't seem to overtake anyone yeah just enough pace to just hang on still haven't seen any lap traffic I'm surprised we're halfway through the event now That's gonna cost me. Those little slides, it doesn't seem like much, but it's a, it really is enough to kill your lap. I let these guys start walking. Whew. Well, if we get some lap traffic and we put together a couple of good laps of our own, we might be able to threaten for some of these lower in class positions, but. I feel like they have more grip through the that corner than I do. Caught them up a little bit. We get through that complex pretty well compared to them. Really this whole sector I guess I do alright. It's just the other half of the track that I just can't seem to make any ground up. He was kind of looking to the inside. That was would have been a bold move. We can unsettle him a little bit and maybe have a chance on the straightaway if we get into the draft. All right, some promising, promising laps here. We are past halfway through this race. Oh boy, he's walking me. Oh, he's probably got DRS active. Oh, if we reach lap traffic, we... Oh, a big incident. The hairpin. It's one of the touring cars has looped it. Wow, these cars don't like to go slow. Well, this is our chance. I'm not sure how many places we've just made up. We do have several DTM cars back behind us. We've made it up to fourth. An unbelievable turn of events. We are one place away from the podium. I don't know how we're supposed to get... Yeah, we can't. Oh, we're getting hit from behind. Well, 
That is the excitement of multi-class racing. We thought we were out and then a big incident in the hairpin has catapulted us one position away from the podium. It's breathing new life into me as well. In seven minutes, can we make it the third or better? I don't know, we'll have to navigate traffic. And there is a lot of it. We have found the WTCC field and the GT4 cars, and they seem to be mixed up pretty good. So that tells us the their pace will be so probably somewhat similar. I'm not really sure. I'll have to keep an eye on the race results and see how that all shakes out. Oh! He must have had DRS that I did not have. Oh, he cut that pretty good. Well, so that puts us back into fifth. And we do have Pascal Verline sneaking up behind us. We'll clear these <clears throat> GT4 cars. And again, I miss out on DRS, but my opponents will have that available to them. Making kind of a defensive line through there. I don't know if the AI will try to get greedy through there or not. It took longer than I would have guessed to get into this lap traffic, but I guess this is kind of a longer circuit. But it has definitely impacted the race in the kind of way that I was hoping to. I want to mix things, to mix things up and make things exciting. Getting bumps from the, the from a GT4 car. They've got plenty of grip. for those corners. Oh no! And we've fallen back to sixth. Well, I guess that's just the adaptive AI not doing its thing yet, where he just had so much more. Either that or he just got, oh, another big incident. The DTM car gets into the back of a touring car. We will have wrecks like that in this series going to be a big part of the GT, GT DTM International Championship. It's a mouthful. Hey, we've managed to acquire DRS this lap. Exciting. Just a couple more minutes. So I don't know how many more laps we'll have. Maybe three. Two or three. This is like uh, Twinery Motigi, that corner. It's kind of a blind right-hander, a little bit of a crest. You just have to have faith it's there and get your turn in early, and the road will come to you. But it is a little bit of a leap of faith. Cannot go around the outside there, as we just demonstrated. But at least we have DRS this time to keep up with these guys. I don't know if we're going to be able to close enough to try and move into the hairpin. Three minutes to go, so we should have two more laps. Uh, we might. We've actually hit the rev limiter. Oh, whoa, car! Oh, no car. Well, with that extra top speed, we didn't break early enough. And since I had the inside line, that made it even harder. We bullied our way into fifth. I'm starting to wonder if damage was on. I thought I had light damage on. Oh, 
Oh wow, look at that. Get the old over under. Probably not, because we're not gonna be able to get the drive out of that corner. They just get so much oh more. They don't know how to go through that corner. And he just cost me big time. Oh what a hero move! Hang on to it! Come on! Go car! Oh, I thought we were gonna have a chance. Whoop. And then they just disappear. Look at that. Exit speed. He's, he must have had DRS active already because he was really drifting through that corner. And who do we have behind us? Spengler? I think we'll get one more lap after this maybe and that's going to be about it. Oh, get hit hard from behind. That's karma, I guess. Wow, he was able to ram me and have that grip out of the hairpin. So, uh, we might be able to make a move into this turn one here. And then again, we might not. It does seem like we've cleared the lap traffic. Oh, we got a little, too, I think we did. We squeezed them out. I've lost him. Oh, we cut that really bad. I was looking in my mirrors. Turned in too early there and that's really messed up my entry for this turn to lose a lot of speed to make it around that corner. <laughs> Spangler's still being a pest back there. Let's see if he can't get in. Oh man! Overdrove that really badly. Maybe he followed me off, I don't know. Well, we're not keeping it together here at the end. I assume he's got his DRS active too, so we're probably not going to pull on. Oh, we're pulling. We are pulling. We do have to be careful. The AI has demonstrated it's not very safe on this hairpin. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Oh, is this going to be it? Is the race already over? No, it can't be. So I got a minute to go. It is over. Uh, well, that was exciting. Looks like Eduardo Mortara won. We were able to get up into sixth, so I'm pretty proud. Pretty proud of that. We'll take that. It wasn't without some rubbing, but hey, that's that's touring car racing, right? Well, let's take a look at our race results. We had Eduardo Mortaro took first. In the Audi, another Audi and a Mercedes finished out the podium. I hung on for sixth place and kind of a wild race. In the touring car class, we have Christopherson of the VW took first, and we've got Alfa Romeo and Audi finishing out the podium. GT4, hey, <laughs> McKee from USA has taken first place in the first round in the BMW. We've got two Lotuses on uh, filling out the podium there. Well, that was an interesting event. It was a good race. I look forward to the next round of the championship. The next round is going to be at Suzuka. That'll be a good one. See you next week.